Last week, we told you the Virginia Beach SPCA is unable to accept injured wildlife. That's because their permits have been suspended by the Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. And this happened after they say employees did not properly report an injured bald eagle. The suspension lasts all the way until February. Tonight, our Maria Elena Boloris looks at the impact this suspension is having on other animal rehabbers in the area. The cries of a baby bunny are nothing new to Connie Hebert. I named my refuge Second Chance because I believe every living creature deserves that second chance. She started Second Chance Wildlife after she had heart surgery years ago. It's given her purpose, but the SPCA's permit suspension has left her feeling helpless. Without the SPCA, I don't know what we're going to do. Hebert focuses on animals like possums, rabbits, and squirrels. She and other rehabbers say thousands of animals will be left to die if the SPCA cannot take the injured ones. Yeah, I think we've seen approximately a 30-35% increase of intake in animals already. That's at Evelyn's Wildlife Refuge, where James Flengis volunteers for the organization his wife created. On their walls, photos of the animals they've saved, normally 600 to 700 a year. But this year, they're worried. We can no longer offer quality service to, these wild, to the wildlife that does come in, and we have no alternative but to have them turned away. And when you turn them away, that means one thing, euthanization. It's a heartbreaking reality that no rehabber wants, but for now, they're forced to accept it, hoping it's not permanent. It's a matter of life and death for these animals, whether or not the SPCA gets their permit back. The SPCA and the DGIF will meet early next week to discuss the appeal. The DGIF says they plan to work with the SPCA to review the situation and hopefully move forward. We'll be sure to keep you posted on that meeting. In the newsroom, I'm Marielena Beloris, 10 on your side.